Has this ever happened to you? We all at least have vomited before. If you're not, you're living under a rock. I used to vomit a lot when I was younger. So, me and my family went to a place called Ribs and Burgers. Not sponsored. We went there because we had a special occasion because my uncle was coming over from a different country. So, I was munching on some ribs and fries, like a fat ass. Like I said, I ate a lot of food. Fat ass. So when my overweight self started munching on the food, like a fat ass, I didn't feel too well. Dad, I, d did, I didn't feel well. Michael, what's the matter? So basically, my dad sent me to the toilet, uh, and I threw up inside the bathroom. So, yeah, that happened. Now I think about it, I haven't ate there in years, so yeah. Also shout out to my uncle. This next story starts up when I was five. So I was eating fish and chips with my family. But then, uh, nothing really happened. We just went bowling off of this. So after that, me and my family hopped in the car to go to a bowling place. So we were having fun bowling. I was waiting for my family to finish up the round of bowling. By the way, I had two toys I bought in my pocket. If you guys watch Ben 10, well, you guys probably already know the two aliens I'm seeing. I had a Grey Matter toy in one of my pockets, and I had a Wild Mud toy in my other pocket. So this is important to what I'm going to be saying in the story. So there were seats that I was sitting in, which were made out of leather, and in between there was cushions, which had lines in them. And if you put your hands between the lines, it goes to a deep place that you can put your hand in. That's what she said. It was very deep. Just like your dad leaving you. So, while I was waiting, I was having a good time playing with my two toys. But, the unthinkable happened. So, I know you guys know the gaps between the cushions, right? Well, I placed my Grey Manor toy inside the two cushions, deep inside. And I dropped one of the toys inside, so... Before I could say anything, my parents said, Oh, well, it's time to go home. When we got inside the car, I told my mom and dad what happened. And the conversation was kind of like this. <laughs> I explained to my parents that I dropped my grey matter toy inside the cushions into an abyss of nothing. So, as responsible parents, my parents drove us home. Just kidding, that never happened, thankfully. So, me and my parents went back inside the bowling place to go back to our seats to find my toy but spoiler alert, it wasn't there so we went in front of the desk and explained the situation from the person in front of the desk and they said they'll get they'll email us back if they find it that never happened by the way well, unfortunately we had to go back in the car and drive home and i was crying all the way in the car ride so yeah you might be asking me what has this have to do with vomiting? I'll explain. So when we went home, I was still crying. <laughs> I didn't feel too well after crying, still crying while taking a shower. Then I threw up in the sink. My dad wasn't too happy. To be honest, I, I, I don't blame him. I actually have done some research of how I vomited. My estimation is maybe the fish and chips or, or, me crying too much, which made me throw up. Or maybe it's both of them, I don't know. Well, this next story takes place when I was sick. Oh God, it's warming up my nose. Oh, fill it up my throat. Oh sh. So, it was me and my dad in the train going to a doctor. I'm not fully sure if it was my mom sending me to the doctor or my dad bringing me but I do remember some events in the story, so bear with me, please. I like have the shortest attention spams now. One of the things I also remember was my dad going to a Japanese restaurant. Well, I felt like vomiting twice going to the restaurant. First time going inside felt like vomiting. I mean, the way of me eating the food felt like vomiting. Also, after we finished eating, I remember my mom picking me up at the restaurant to go home, and my dad was supposed to go to work after this. So, when I went home, I didn't feel too well, so I threw up in the sink. My mom was not too happy about it. 
but the most annoying thing about me throwing up in the sink wasn't the vomiting. I had to clean up the whole thing with my hand, with a plastic bag. It was not pleasant at all. If you guys have any other stories about vomiting, excuse me, um, if you guys have any other stories of vomiting, well, tell me in the comments, and yeah, now I'm gonna end off this video, video, and I'm gonna roll the end credits now, so yeah. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video, and today I'm just gonna say, I'm in my room right now, my sister's here, yes, she's also been in the background behind my scenes, in the scenes, she, she, yeah, anyways, so, new video, yeah, finally. Also, today is Father's Day, so if you have your dad around, show him love. Anyways, I was originally going to animate and I was going to record a new bit because I was sick last two weeks, for well, last two weeks ago, I'm pretty sure, a week or two ago. I, I threw up a few weeks ago, so I was going to animate that, but I'll just make that into a short. Okay. So yeah, I'll probably get it animated like in a week or two. So yeah, thanks for sticking around. Hopefully you guys watched the full video. Anyways, bye.